What is up? Thank you guys for joining today. Man, I'm excited. I get to talk to Mr. Jeff Root, owner of Digital B BGA. And the, you, get, you guys get to see the face now to the voice of Modern Life Insurance Selling Podcast. Dude, I've been following you for so long. Thank you for being on this thing. Of course, man. Thanks for having me. You got it, man. For all those that don't know, Jeff Root not only is a titan in this industry. I mean, I'm telling you, you, got, you can learn some stuff from this man. I promise you that. But also, he's going to be at 8% Nation at Nissan Stadium with these dudes behind me, Grant Cardone, Ray Lewis. He's going to be a panelist speaker, being able to answer your questions live from stage. Buddy, dude, uh, for those that don't know you, give us a little rundown on who Jeff Root is, how you got your start in the business, how you came up with this crazy idea to have like the most listened to insurance podcast of all time. <laughs> I'm not about to guess, but it's, it's fantastic. I, every time I get on a plane, dude, I plug that thing in. Yeah. So I've been in the life insurance business since 06, started at Northwestern Mutual Financial Planning, boots on the ground type guy. Um, 07, uh, started selling over the phone. I just uh, went through my natural market and uh, bought a batch of leads. And uh, one of the guys wanted said, hey, do you really, do I really need to see you? Do I really need you to come to my office? Can I just do this over the phone? I was like, I think so. And so that was kind of my, my taste. And I was like, okay, this, I'm onto something here. Um, so I started buying leads and in, in 07, it was like shooting fish in the barrel. Um, you can go to any lead vendor and it was, I mean, it was, you close a very high percentage. It was really good until about, um, I think 08. And that's when uh, ping posting, I don't know if anybody's familiar with ping posting. It's just a technology lead companies use and that kind of diluted the quality of leads. And so I learned how to market for myself. Um, so I went to work for a call center, um, life insurance call center, and at the same time, learned to market. And that's where I kind of got my chops in marketing. And, you know, about a year later and, you know, selling probably at the time, you know, 2000 policies at the time, I'm close to 3000 policies sold over the phone um, total. Wow. You know, I've been able to kind of hone the life insurance marketing aspect of it and the selling over the phone. And so to bring that to, you know, the, the life insurance, modern life insurance selling podcast that you referenced, you know, that's where I'm teaching agents um, to sell over the phone, market online, because there wasn't any, there, there's not anybody teaching it at the time. This was a couple of years ago. You know, now there's a few people out there doing it. It's great. Um, you know, but that was in response to people asking me like, Jeff, how, hey, how are you ranking in Google right now? Or how are you selling, you know, all, all these policies and, you know, how did you show up on this, you know, in this magazine? Things like that. And that's the kind of stuff we talk about in the podcast. You know, it's, it's how you get yourself out there. It's, you know, it's the modern life insurance selling. So I did that and then kind of put everything into a book. And so I wrote a book called The Digital Life Insurance Agent. It's on Amazon. Um, and that is literally everything that I know. Even today, everything I know is in that book. <laughs> so if you wanted to kind of take that route of telesales, like it was basically all my podcasts, everything that I know in that wrapped up in that in that book. So, and then to current day is I'm at Digital BGA. So taking all that, helping agents, um, you know, with a more uh, with telesales focused life insurance sales. Um, and so we've built technology and back end processing team to you know, take all the non-revenue producing tasks off the table so, so agents can focus on selling and training them to, to sell using technology and the things that I've learned. And also doing that, we're just, we're just starting, we just launched something too for the final expense side of things called Digital Senior Benefits at digitalseniorbenefits.com. So nice. uh, exciting stuff, but yeah, that's, that's where I am today. Dude, that's amazing, man. To, to think that, uh... I didn't even realize with people selling over the phone back in 07. I started in uh, at 19. It was like, I don't know, or, 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 or like it was like eight years ago, nine years ago, uh, 2011, 2012, and 2010. And back then, I wasn't allowed to ask date of birth. I wasn't allowed to ask health. I started out as like a captive agent. I wasn't allowed to, you know, do nothing. No quoting, no selling. You, you go to the home, you know. Uh, I had no clue. There were people selling back on the phone even before I started. That's that's just amazing. Yeah, when, when we started, we had to physically mail the application to the client, you know. And then we figured, wow. okay, now now the examiners will start taking it. Okay, so it, it got a little better. 
So you upload, you, you take the application over the phone, fill it out, you know, pen to paper still, um, and then upload it to the examiner, and the examiner will take it out. I'm like, hey, it's it's getting a little getting a little easier. I don't pay for postage anymore, and they can get the signatures and sometimes the social and everything like that. Um, but now it's so easy. I mean, there's every company has some e app or anything like that. It's just it's you know it's getting better every year. It's yeah. getting easier. I think that I think I think my next question, and maybe more for me, I'm, 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 I know the audience is going to get something out of it too. What was the vision behind Modern Life Insurance Selling Podcast? I've always just been so enamored with that, man. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said before, it was in response to all the inquiries, all the emails and phone calls. And it got to the point where some people didn't believe me, you know, like, wow. You know, and so I almost felt like at one point, you know, there's, I'm not the only one doing this. And so I interview other people who do it and are doing these different things. It's not just what you hear about when you trained at wherever you start in the business, whatever captive or, or whatnot. It, that's everybody trains in absolutes. Like this is how you do this. This is how you run your business. And then, you know, people see me talking about these things and, you know, and, and, uh, you know, and, and it started from there. It was, it was more to prove something to people. Like, you guys really don't believe this? Like, this is a lot easier than it sounds. You know, you just have to you just have to get the knowledge and implement. I mean, all, all I really am is a knowledge worker. You know, I absorb knowledge and, and act on it. And so, you know, that's the second step to this whole thing. So, you know, um, to hear from other people on the podcast, that's why I interview other people because there are, I mean, everybody has something they're good at that they can teach somebody, you know? So I may know something about marketing life insurance online, but I don't know everything. Somebody else is going to know something more than I do in, in different areas. And that's why I did the podcast. One, so you asked about the vision. That was a long-winded answer. <laughs> the the vision, one. really, I wanted to meet other great people. Um, and I wanted to prove to people that other people are doing it and to motivate other agents to do that, to bring the industry forward. Because the industry, like I just mentioned before, it started, you know, was filling out applications, mailing them, then to the uploading of exams, and now we have these e-apps and everything, but the industry keeps moving forward, and I think this is my way of kind of moving it forward with agents. So if I can get a lot of agents that believe in this, and um, you know, we can create this kind of movement of digital life insurance agents, um, then you know, maybe these insurance carriers will get their acts together and start using the technology that all these other industries have, you know? <laughs> completely, completely, well thank you yeah. for for pioneering that, setting all that up, man, dude, and being, being, uh, and then to be, to, dude, I can, I can already tell you, you're just a, you're just a humble, good dude, because, because to say that, you know, you, you, you did all this, um, you know, and, and that you, you used to learn from people and the people that know a lot more than you, I'm telling you what, it may be true, but you know a lot, man. You, 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 you've, 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 you know, a ton. You've got an incredible book, like you said. You've interviewed a ton of successful people in this industry. And that's what's cool is sharing what others know with an audience. Uh, and you've, you've, you've built an awesome following that, that follows that podcast. I want to ask you this, though. If you had to say there's an agent that jumps on and watches this and they're like, dude, I want to be Jeff Root. Or what, what's one tip that, 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 that you would give to them to kind of – to, to get started, to kick off selling over the phone, generating leads through SEO and Google and online, you know, and, 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 and se just selling over the phone in general, kind of kickstarting that. Cause a lot of people, they just don't know where to start. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would, I mean, I would find a, okay. I'll start and say that we're, I mentioned I'm a knowledge worker, right? Yeah. And so a lot of people just don't have the knowledge to act. They don't have the confidence to do something. And so what's cool about what you're doing, Cody, is, you know, you're, you're giving people that as well, you know, and you're, you're giving them the tools and the knowledge to do that and showing, hey, there's other people that do this too. So once people have the confidence, then they're ready to, to step out. And so if you can give somebody the confidence and a roadmap, you know, and so I guess I would say find a mentor, whether that's you or somebody else, but, so, but something that is... Yeah. Somebody that will um, give you a roadmap on exactly what to do. And then if you do these steps, you go back to that person and say, okay, now do these steps. Cause that's how I'm mentoring people. 
because a lot of people that that I talk to, they don't do the work, right? And you know, I, I have them, okay, do these steps, and I never hear from them again. But the people who do those steps, they come back to me, okay, I'll talk to you, and we'll we'll keep going, and you know, we we'll build this thing. Um, so if you can find a mentor that can show you the roadmap that has done it, that is, you know, that's and they're out there, by the way, and and I'm sure a bunch of them are going to be at eight percent nation. That's you know, the really cool thing about this event. Completely, and, and you meant, you mentioned when we jumped on that, that you you've been to a lot of events. You love events. What is it about if there's an agent on the fence out there that's like, dude, I don't know if I want to go to eight percent nation, man. I don't know if I want to get go to this insurance wealth conference at an info stadium. What, what advice can you give on why you believe they should? So the cool thing about an event like this and getting insurance agents together, um, and you know, and even the I guess the influencers on stage together is we're all talking about the same things. And when you meet some of these agents at an event, that's where a lot of value comes. And you, you may get a bunch of motivation from these guys. You may get a lot of actionable advice from some of these speakers, but the people you meet at these events and the connections you make, those elevate your business. So I can tell you, we had a, a, a mastermind in Austin for, um, for Cell Term Life, which is where the podcast is hosted. And we had that a few months ago and we, we had 20 agents there. There were a couple partnerships formed there. They had never met each other before, but spending two days with the same people, like you get to know these people and now they're partnered up and they're doing, you know, they're covering each other's weaknesses. You know, they figured, they figured out what they like to do. And, and um, you know, so to form partnerships, to, to, to get insights on other people's businesses, things that, are struggles for you or challenges in your business that somebody's like, Oh dude, here's how you do it. This is what I do. You know? And you're like, Oh, okay. And it's one of those things. I mean, you, you hear you, people say all the time, like it's one idea, one actionable thing can change your business. And the thing is when you go to these events, like, you know, I'm traveling to Nashville, I'm in Austin, I'm traveling to Nashville. Everybody's probably traveling from somewhere to get to Nashville. You're more vulnerable when you're in, when you're outside of your element and you open yourself up and you, you know, you kind of, um, I guess absorb all the, you know, all the information. And, and it's just, it's just a cool thing when you're at a conference that you can just get so much information and connect with so many people, you have no idea what's going to happen. And that's why these events are so important. I've, and I've thought about putting on an event like this for years and I've just never done it. And then like, I'm so behind what you're doing because I've been waiting for an event like this. Thank you, buddy, man. I appreciate that very much, man. It's uh, dude, it's, it, it, it's, it's a lot of work. Our team's our team's grinding all day, every day, and we're excited to, to get there in Nissan Stadium. The end of the end of next month, man, it's it's nuts to think. Literally, thirty four days, six hours, and fifty six minutes away. It's dude, it's it's flying by. It's nuts. Okay, so Jeff's gonna be on the panel. We're gonna have we're gonna have the audience submit questions. He's gonna be one of the guys that's on stage, guys and gals on stage answering questions, and also. We're going to have some premier ticket holders that are going to be able to ask questions with a mic. What do you expect that, because I love Q and a, like I think Q and a is, is as valuable as anything else. What do you think that they will learn simply by being able to ask, like you said, a lot of these influencers and learn by getting it, having the ability to actually ask a handful of the top influencers in this industry live with some live Q and a. So that's the cool thing because it's it's not on script, you know, and it's going to force panelists and speakers to um, to give answers off the cuff. You can ask very specific questions, you know, because a lot of people might go up there and not give you the whole, you know, the, all the information, just some of it. Yeah. But, but now you can press and they're, they're going to have to tell you. So like come up with those questions, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to. Like I'm an open book. And so like whatever you have, come, come at me, you know, like I'll talk about my failures too. I'll talk about whatever, whatever it is. What was the, okay. Oh, you mean, that's, yeah. That, sorry. No, thank you, buddy. That, that's su su super, super, super valuable. I love that. Especially cause it's like you said, it's off the cuff. It's, it's, it's the, yeah. they are yeah. going to have to answer you. They're going to be in front of a thousand people in a stadium. You know, it's like, that's, uh, what is, you mentioned failure. What is one thing that you learned 
after felling in this industry? Because we all fell at something in this industry at some point or another, right? What 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 was it about you? Because 92 percent of agents fail. What was something that you learned that allowed you to not only learn from what you were doing, but internally able to get back up and keep going? Yeah. So in in the beginning, when you're um, when you're grinding and just just doing everything you can to be successful in this, it's easy to cut corners. I try to cut some corners, and it. Every single time it led to failure, um, whether it's like SEO. I had a website generating 750 leads a month. I was doing some shady stuff to it, um, you know, just through the search engines. And I was using, you know, this was six plus years ago. Um, I was using some shady tactics. And then overnight, it went down to like zero leads. I got a Google penalty, right? Mm. And that was tough. 750 leads to zero. Um, and then you have, you know, I talk to agents daily and everybody's looking for, Everybody's looking to cut corners. Like, hey, how can I shorten my, you know, my my time frame to success, or to get leads from my website, or to, you know, to cash flow this business better? And there's no shortcuts. You know, you can't take these shortcuts. And so that's kind of what I learned is that a lot of agents try and try and find those, and they spend all this mental energy on that, and it'll get you trouble at the end of the day. Yeah, that, I mean, a lot of my failures were, were due to me in the beginning taking shortcuts. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I no longer do that. And, you know, I'm, yeah. And, and you know what, there, there's no shortcuts to success. Yeah. Yeah. People like Jeff Root, all the other guys are going to be at this conference. They didn't become extremely successful overnight. They didn't become extremely successful in 12 months. They didn't mm -hmm. become extremely successful in a couple of years. It takes time. And that's why I'm excited to get everybody there to learn from people like you. Dude, going out, as we close this thing up, thank you again for being on. I know our audience is gonna love you at 8% Nation, buddy. And we're actually, we're gonna be at Entrance News Net in Chicago together here, here next I'll week. See you in like four days, I think. It's crazy. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna be meeting up, man. Yeah. So that'll be a ton of fun. Um, yep. as, as we close out, give me one last pitch for all those that are like, I'm on the fence, man. I, I don't know whether I should go to this. I'll, I'll tell you why I'm excited for it. And I hope that gets other people excited. Um, all the practitioners, all the guys in the trenches every single day to get people together like that um, in one area. And, you know, you, you have time cut out. I've seen on the agenda. Yeah, we're, we're listening to people. But we have, you know, those parties. We have the break time. You have the vendor areas. You have all these times where you can just connect with other agents. And that is where you're going to get the most value. That is where I've seen agents really kind of get their aha moments, get their takeaways from the whole experience. And so, yeah, you have a badass lineup of speakers, you know. Um, but what should get you excited is, is meeting other people in the trenches um, because it's lonely out there. I mean, I'm in my office by myself most of the day, you know, <laughs> and, and to go out and meet people. It's it's, it's a cool thing. It's, it's a good experience. No yeah. doubt. It's just, it can be a super lonely business. That's why people like Jeff, man, they go to events, they, they answer live Q&A, they have a killer podcast, they focus on bringing value and helping others. Dude, I've, I've learned way more from you than you'll ever learn from me. And so I'm super Appreciate grateful. That. Yeah. Super grateful that you're a part of this. I've been listening to your podcast for years and you didn't even know it. Every time I go on the plane, I turn this dude on. He's going to be a panelist answering live Q&A at 8% Nation in Nashville, the end of next month at Nissan Stadium. Dude, thank you again for being on this, brother. Can't wait to see you in Chicago next week. And I can't wait even more to hang out with you in Nashville in 34 days. It'll be fun. I can't wait to do this. It'll be a lot of fun. For all those that are curious, just got a little code. If you made it this long in the video, Sell term life. If you use the code sell term life, Jeff may have a little discount for you, a little hookup. So, dude, thanks again for being on. Thank you all for watching. Please do me a favor. If you're thinking about going, if you're on the fence, you need to get there. Go to apersonation.com to grab your seat to get to this amazing, incredible conference and to hang out with Jeff Rude in Nashville. Thanks again for being on, brother. Appreciate it very much. Cheers. All right.